It was a friend's birthday last night, a girl's dinner, and we're all sitting around the table discussing dating. So then we went on to talking about our partners and some of the girls agreed that they don't wanna to have to tell them to do stuff. They want their partners to just do it. And I'm like, but you didn't ask them. You didn't tell them what to do. You have silent expectations and you're assuming that they understand what it is that you actually want. Is having this assumption that our partners are just going to know what they should do to please us or having this silent expectation where we know what we want them to do, but we don't actually say it out loud, is that too much to ask for? Especially when we all had different upbringings, we all have different culture and values. So then I started weighing out the options. Option A, is it too much to ask for exactly what you want from your partner? Or is it too much to expect them to just know what you want? Create these silent expectations that the other person should just automatically know. We're gonna pick between the two, and this is what we will be discussing in today's video. Hi there, Moodlings. My name's Dr. Nicole Lunan. I'm the CEO and co-founder of MoodMe, a new app that allows you to share over 400 and plus moods, emotions, and desires with your partner, thus making communication simple, fun, and super easy. Okay, so let's dive into option A. Is it too much to ask for what you want from your partners? So on the drive home, I got to thinking because I do my best thinking at night, I'm driving, I'm in the zone, and I'm thinking which option would be the better one to choose? Well, option A, I should probably just ask for what I want, but it's like so freaking scary, but that would be the most emotionally mature thing to do, right? So then why don't we do these things? I think we're afraid to ask for what we truly want from a partner because we're ultimately afraid of rejection and disappointment. There's this saying about the devil you know. Well, some of us play this game, the devil you don't know. We'd rather live in the dark about whether our partners or the person we're dating can actually fulfill our needs, expectations, and desires. Where does this fear come from? When we are a little bouncing and vulnerable child, we knew how to ask for what we wanted. I'm hungry, I want that toy, I want mommy, I want daddy, I want, I want, I want. What happened between then and now? Where did we lose our courage to speak with conviction about what makes us happy in that moment? Well, we got let down. We got ignored, we got scared, we got disappointed, we stopped trusting, we stopped listening. We told our inner child to quiet down, now is not the time to ask for what you want. And even if you did, nobody cares. Well, that's incorrect. If you have a reasonable desire, and I mean, hey, would it be possible for you to open the doors for me? I really like that. Or hey, when you get home, will you call me to let me know that you're safe? We can ask for these types of things from our partners. Most of us are probably afraid of coming off as needy or too demanding. Understanding and vocalizing your expectations isn't needy or demanding, especially when you're asking for things that are reasonable. Either your partner can meet those needs or they can't. And the answer to that is what we are all continuously running from. And this video isn't just for, you know, women or girls asking for what they want. This video is also for men. As a woman, as women, we want to know what you want, what men want. We want to meet your needs, desires, and expectations because as you take care of us, we also want to take care of you. Option B, is it too much to expect them to know what you want without telling them? Assume that they should just automatically know. No matter how psychic or intuitive we can be, we all have blind spots, we all have different upbringings. It's not possible for us to always know what our partner wants. And I know this gets super played up in the honeymoon phase, like we're so in tune with each other that we answer each other's sentences. Everyone feels like they're in tune in the honeymoon phase because it's filled up with the love hormones. But sometimes that gives us the assumption that they know us, that they get us, that we don't actually have to talk about what we need or want because they're just gonna automatically know. We expect them to know small things about us, like you like to be left alone at the gym or that you like to have silence when you drink your coffee in the morning or that um, you lock the door when you go to sleep. I don't know, all the small things, expectations, we all have them. The things you know and understand to be an expectation, the other person may have no idea about what you're talking about. It's more than okay to have expectations of being polite and respectful on the first date, right? 
That's what you would want, right? What do those terms mean to you though? What does polite mean to you? What does it look like? What does respectful mean to you? There's a common argument about whether a girl should offer to pay on the first date. Some men get really offended when the girl doesn't offer to pay. Others get really offended when she does offer to pay. My point is you can't have silent expectations and then judge your partner on whether they meet these with no communication from you. Until you communicate your needs, try not to make a snap judgment about them. Stop testing them. Anytime you test someone, it's a recipe for disaster. Non-vocalized expectations is a recipe for disaster, especially as you get deeper and deeper into the relationship. It feels like we're all trying to avoid the basic foundation for a good relationship, which is communication. We want to be seen and heard and taken care of, but we're missing the words to help our partners understand and actually give us that. So is it too much to expect your partner to be a mind reader or a psychic to just know your silent expectations? Well, there's an old saying, to assume makes an ass out of you and me. Me and you. <laughs> to assume means that your mind is closed. To ask questions means that your mind is open and curious and you cannot be curious and egotistical at the same time. Yes, partners are not mind readers. Remember that the next time you have a silent expectation that wasn't met. Ask yourself why you didn't just communicate your expectation out loud. Instead of getting upset with your partner, look within. And that's where things are gonna get really interesting. And that's where the real growth is gonna happen.